Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Adam Neville. I'm 16 years old, and I'm a patient and peer of the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center. So, the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center is a mouthful. <laughs> In all seriousness, the center appears, at first glance, to be a run-of-the-mill clinic. And for all of the people who have not passed through those glass doors, it may be. But if you ask any young adult that has ever received service in that hole in the wall just off 94th and 2nd, you'd learn that the Adolescent Health Center is anything but ordinary. There is no clinic with as much heart, as much generosity, or nurturing love in New York, and the life I lead now is a testament to that care. To the point of family is where my experience with the center begins. Both my mother and aunt received care from the center, and I would follow in their footsteps as a teenager myself. In this regard, the center has been a part of my family longer than even I have. It is no understatement then to say that I have been a patient at the center since I was but a passing thought in my mother's mind. <laughs> my mother grew pregnant with me as a teenager, already a patient at the clinic. There, along with receiving other assistance, she attended counseling and learned the skills required to raise me into the man you see before you. I am named after the very counselor who helped my mother. It is a name I will honor with pride, Adam. My mother's full experience is not mine to tell. However, as she herself has told me, I owe my life as I know it to the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center. For that, I am eternally grateful. My gratitude for the center doesn't end there. When I reached adolescence, my own issues arose. I found myself questioning my identity in ways I never had before, dealing with emotions I had never felt before, and becoming conscious of the world around me. Suddenly, I was different from all of my peers. My self-esteem issues grew from an occasional bother to a constant ache. I did not have the words to tell anyone how I was hurting. I did not understand that my pain was not my fault. Society had instilled into me a deep sense of shame about my body, my sexuality, and my interests. With that turmoil, my motivation burned out. My grades dropped with it. My family's disapproval didn't help. I did not know how to tell them who above all else wanted me to love myself and to succeed, that I had failed them. I wasn't happy, I wasn't doing well in school, and I didn't care about myself. I felt worthless. And in that period of weakness and isolation, I sought any coping mechanism I could find. I found myself in the school bathroom, bleeding, feeling completely numb. Fortunately, I wasn't good at hiding the wounds. My family noticed. After a long night with many tears, I ended up at the center for what I thought was the first time. It was hard. I cried even more in the waiting room, but people didn't stare. It hurt, but all healing does. I met with my very first psychologist that day. To be candid, she made me better. I do not know where I would be today without that help. I was drowning, and I was met with a steady hand to pull me up out of the depths. That first therapy session was not just counseling. The center is not just a clinic. My life was saved 14 years after it began in the exact same spot. I have received counseling at the center ever since. I have grown. I have learned that the future is always brighter than the present. The lessons I have learned, how I have genuinely grown as a person, that is what I mean when I say family. I now work at the center through Mount Sinai Speak program, which stands for Sinai Peers Encouraging Empowerment Through Knowledge, which is also quite a mouthful. <laughs> there, I do all varieties of outreach work, getting teenagers in contact with the facilities and services they need. I do believe there is beauty in that experience. As my mother received counseling at the center, I too have followed. As I was connected with a facility providing just the help I needed, I too now practice the cycle of giving. It is this sense of community, 
of generosity and a family that makes the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center something truly magnificent. I hope in sharing my experience, you too can see what I see under that bright blue awning just off 94th and 2nd in that mouthful of a name. Thank you.